Anyhow, it's Jack here. We're gonna hit the ground running on the first video. This is the Wu Flu myth debunking. So you think you know China? Or at least what other people have told you about it. And that's fine. But let us tell you what China is. To, to us. us. Or even better. Let us show you. Now there's a lot of false rumors going around on the, on the media. So we took it upon ourselves to debunk a few of these so-called facts spread by mainstream media. All right, coming at you with number one. A surgical mask will protect me 100%. Now, all viruses are small enough to penetrate these masks. Um, the N95 respirator could protect you. The best practices is to sneeze into your elbow and washing your hands at a regular basis. Number two, I am more likely to get sick if I am old. Now, people of all ages can be infected, but people with a pre-existing condition or whose immune systems are compromised are more likely to get infected and are more likely to develop severe symptoms because of the virus. Number three, I will die if I am infected with the Wu flu. There is no guarantee that you will die. Getting infected with the Wu flu is not a guaranteed death sentence. It is estimated that the chance of dying while infected is 2.09%. Number four, antibiotics will treat the Wu flu. Now the World Health Organization has confirmed that antibiotics cannot be used to treat the Wu flu. Right? Antibiotics are used to treat bacterial infections. So antibiotics will not work. Number six, the Wu flu virus is in the air or is airborne. Viruses travel from person to person via droplets from coughing or sneezing. These droplets land on hands or on objects and is then, then touched by other people who then either touch their noses or touch their mouths or touch their eyes and thus they get infected by it. Number seven, I will act like a zombie if I'm infected with the Wu flu. This rumor apparently started in Malaysia from certain media users and it's making its round all along Southeast Asia. They made a connection between the Wu flu and the TV series, The Walking Dead. Totally untrue. It's not, you're not gonna turn into a zombie. Number eight, the Wu flu will be transferred via imported goods. There is no evidence that the Wu flu can be transmitted via goods and products. Most flu viruses cannot survive outside the human body for more than a few hours, depending on environmental conditions. The Wu flu, for instance, is physically large. It is too heavy to stay suspended in the air for more than a certain amount of time. Nor can it survive outside the body for more than a few hours. Again, depending on environmental conditions. Cold weather, for example, or cold, lets the virus survive a longer period of time. And even if it's sneezed um, into the air, it cannot travel more than a few feet. It is just physically a heavy, heavy virus. Now, if you take into account a shipping container, for example, you're ordering goods from another country and you're worried it's going to be infected. Now, the virus physically, the virus physically cannot make the trip in a cargo container all by itself unless it has a human host to latch onto. So people are still the most likely transmitters of the disease. Number nine, shops and stores are running low on goods and there are food shortages in China. Well, let's test that theory, shall we? Obviously not. Number 10, my pet at home can spread the new Wu flu virus. There has been no evidence of household pets being infected or being able to transmit the Wu flu virus. Nothing. 
nada, mayo, my me, next. No evidence of this. Apparently this one started when the Nanning government in China issued a warning about the avian flu outbreak in the past week. And some idiots took that and ran with it. Like I said, some idiots took that news and ran with it. And now what they're doing is they're starting all kinds of, you know, utter lies. And people are freaking out, of course. I've seen reports of, oh no, the government is going to come and kill all the animals. Or you're going to force you to kill your animals or pay huge fines or get arrested. It's absolutely a big steaming pile of lies, man. Absolutely not true. There's been no government warnings. There's been nothing about cats and dogs or any of the sort. Lies, yo. Lies. We're all in this together and we can only stop it together. This is the time for facts, not fear. This is the time for signs, not rumors. This is the time for solidarity, not stigma. I thank you. All right, thank you all for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.